Hello, everyone. My name is Andreas Diaz. Uh, Will and I are back again for another spectacular Marvel Plus talk. That's right. We're back again to do a two spectacular podcast. Of course, we're back again to do a TV, TV weekly discussion. Of course, Secret Invasion came out uh, you know, last June. So we're uh, going to discuss the first two episodes uh, and just hear Will discussion. Uh, on, I think I'll, I'll say, like, Will opinion on these two episodes, because uh, if you want to hear my opinions, I actually had done a Secret Invasion guest spot on another podcast, uh, the MCU Bleeding Edge, you can check that out. I've already done so far the three episodes with them. Uh, yeah, very fun. Uh, go ahead and check that if you want to hear more of my in-depth uh, detail. That is, well, like, we just go from, like, scene-to-scene -scene discussion on the episode, which is ridiculous, and it takes, a, takes us about like an hour to do that. Oh my god, crazy. Uh, it, yeah. Oh, you gonna say something? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, and and, and and of course, uh, we mentioned before, uh, the 10th anniversary of the Wolverine. We're gonna have a movie discussion as well, so me and Will are gonna discuss that, which is fun. Um, I'm kinda happy we're doing that instead of Origins Wolverine. To start with um <laughs> <laughs> so so that's uh, that's one thing i'm happy about i was like oh god you can start with this set of organs uh, anyway so will how you doing buddy how you doing i'm good how are you um i'm doing very good i'm excited for this month for the movies that i just brought up for the podcast you know miss impossible uh barbie and i'm homer uh looks great so, so excited to see them now yeah, I know it's an exciting month. Mm -hmm. Very busy summer this year. Yeah, again, which is crazy. Like last June was full of movies. Yeah. And oh my god, it's just crazy. Um, but yeah. So anyway, um, so um, we're we're not gonna discuss briefly. Like we're not gonna go in depth on the situation. Um, like I just just want to hear kind of your opinion, Will, on the show right now. Um, so. What's your opinion overall with the first two episodes? Uh, do you like it? Uh, do you think it's better than the second half of the Disney Plus shows that we had in 2022? Or you're just kind of at eh about the show? Um, go ahead. Tell me about your opinion on these first two episodes. Um, go ahead. This is four. Yeah, I, I've just kind of been kind of... Eh, you know, like... <laughs> there's nothing, like, bad about it, I guess. It's mm -hmm. just kind of boring um i don't know it doesn't feel like there's that much going on i've been enjoying um the dialogue especially episode two mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. i thought that was a little more fun than it wasn't like typical marvel stuff there's like a little bit more going on there um especially right. with olivia coleman and i think it's largely just her delivery of the lines but she seems to be having a good time right right um yeah uh, i'm always happy when she's on screen but then every other time it's like very self-serious and okay i don't know i don't know if it's really earned that um wow <laughs> also wow. like i just can't shake the uh the feeling that this shouldn't have been a disney plus show yes this should have been like f the entirety of phase five mm -hmm. so i just i feel like there are no stakes because um they're not gonna make this like short disney plus show be essential viewing for everything going forward so they can't do anything too big yeah yeah uh i agreed um i yeah it was it was gonna be weird because our next film right mm -hmm. like, is gonna be the marvels because nick is gonna be in that film so i'm kind of curious how this show is gonna affect him and, and that movie it's like yeah but i it, it's very odd to me yeah it is yeah because like because our next disney plus show before the Marvels and October is Loki season two. That's important. 
Right. I, I I just I don't know like like it's really, it's really bizarre what what we're doing is give secret invasion now. Makes sense, and I agree with you. Like I, this could have been a great Avengers movie. Avengers. It should have been. Right? I, I don't know. Like I, I feel like there's more of an emotional impact when, like, the twist is that this character that you've been like following for years and years is a scroll, as opposed to like. Right. I don't uh, like new characters that they've just introduced. Yeah, um, I mean, whole new characters in this role. That we mm-hmm. did. Uh, killing off a character that I like with Tavos off screen, which I was very bothered by, it. and like, it's like, um, what's the word? Pumping this other character that I like. I mean, Emily Carr's character I like, um, but it's kind of like. I wish we saw, you know, Talos White dying and like makes sense, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So, let me briefly discuss my opinions. Um, I'm I'm gonna uh, tonight. Um, I I'm um the the content creator from M- the MCU Beneath Edge made a show, a Monday report. So we do all geeky news and like uh, we actually. I mean, discussing The Walking Dead, Dead City. I uh, mm-hmm. highly recommend watching that show. I'm uh, we're up to episode four. We're gonna ha- make a review there. Check that. Check it out. Um, we're gonna discuss all the three episodes of duration, like our mid season review. And I'm kind of with you, Will. Like, 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 sort of. Like, for me, I like the show. I think it's a a really good, like, Nick Fury show that I like. But it's in place of a story that I think is should have been a Nick Fury central show. Like, why couldn't we just done a Nick Fury HM Shield kind of show, right? Mm-hmm. Or something like that. Set up using deprivation to bring back Nick Fury and, and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, I mean, it could have make sense if we just do the Kree and Scroll War with Nick. That makes sense because it's like it feels like a sequel to Captain Marvel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, because that's the thing that drove Captain Marvel the film. And that's something we, we haven't bring. Well, we're going to bring up the Kree in the next film, the Marvels. But I don't know what's going on with the Kree and all that. Like, like I don't know what they're going to do with that. But So, like, my, my thing is, it's like, we should bring up the, the plot about, you know, wh- which the show is doing. Like, the scrolls, like, how they, like, migrate the Earth since 1995. And so... Mm-hmm. So that those parts I like, like I, I like that we're paying off the, the the thread of the scrolls trying to search the Earth, and it's really cool to see, like this other side of Nick using the scrolls to his advantage as a spy, and like mm-hmm. I like that detail of that. Um, and I, I I'm surprised you brought up Olivia Coleman. I know you you, ha- you haven't seen episode three, but I don't want to spoil this. But another big actor that I want to bring out that I really love. Uh, he, he's great. It's Bed Mellison as Talos. He's he's another factor I love about the show. Mm-hmm. Like you will like episode two because of him. There's it's Pulp Fiction meets Marvel and you will like it well. Episode three. Just remember okay. that. <laughs> you will like that. And they have a conversation about human dogs and it's so funny. And it's just mm-hmm. the way Bed Mellison just talks about it. It's very funny. Um <laughs> Uh, I think Tyler is really great. If you like Bellison as Tyler's from the first Captain Marvel week, this show is really expanding his character. And like, you, I don't know, like, I, it's not a spoil. We've seen this in the trailer of him grabbing the main villain, Kravik. Um, mm-hmm. That scene is the best scene from the show when you get to that. My whole, the, the, get, the guest spot I'm doing for Wednesdays, we talked about that. It's one of our favorite scenes. It's so great. It it, it, it just shows how uh, Melvinson is a great actor, and it's, I'm so happy he's in the MCU. Hopefully, he can stick long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't want him to die. Right. Yeah, and, uh, and, and of course, I want to bring up Samuel Jackson. Uh, he's great. I'm I'm happy to see him again, and um, I think he's having a fun time in the show. He's a producer in the show, and um, I, I'm so happy we're doing some, excuse me, like in-depth 
analysis and just it just uh what's the word this um this production nick fury you know mm -hmm. like, like i like where we're taking him with the blip and all that like that's so fascinating you know and i've seen mm -hmm. like, episode two with the twist that he has a wife which is really intriguing so mm -hmm. um but I, I, wife. yeah scroll wife yeah i i'm shocked uh I mean, well actually i'm not too shocked because we we knew he's gonna have a wife but i didn't know it was gonna be school <laughs> Yeah, so, um, and yeah, you brought up Olivia Coleman. I love Olivia Coleman. Uh, she's great. Uh, it's, it's very funny. She, like, it's funny in the interviews she brought up, she said she really desperately wanted to be in a Marvel movie. Uh -huh. and, and apparently, like, she did not care. Like, she was hoping to be, like, a superhero. Like, she wanted to be bitten by a right act or something or, like, hit by. <laughs> it's uh -huh. so funny. So she's having a blast in the show, and I think she's a huge fan of this properly, which is great. Um, but yeah, she's great too. I love her conversation with Nick, so that's really intriguing. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, and, and Olivia, uh, Olivia, uh, Amelia Clark, mm -hmm. um, she's also great. I like that we got the daughter of Tavos. We, we kind of knew we were going to get her. Um, it wasn't confirmed until we saw the first episode um i thought she's great in this in the show um i i think i'm I kind of intrigued where we're going to take her uh especially episode three when you get to episode three uh the, the something that happened to her and it's, it's just it just throws you off like kind of what the comics information does um but yeah but now let me get into um cons right like my nitpicks and stuff mm -hmm. like that so i so far, I think my biggest problem uh, since the first episode, before I saw episode three, is the main villain, Kravik. I'm just not emotionally invested on what we're doing with him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have that same feeling. I, I like the actor, um, uh, Kingsley, uh, that's his name, Ben. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. he, he's a good actor. Uh, he's actually going to be in Barbie next week. Um, one of nice. the, yeah, one of the is same. it Ken? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but also with another MCU star, uh, Sammy Lou is coming in that. Mm -hmm. very, uh, very convenient. Um, I I like him. Uh, he's he's one of my he's in my he's in the second season of the OA, who's, which is great. Love him in there. Um, I just don't. I I get what Kravik is as a villain. I I just think he's just a middle role kind of villain. I I understand. What the scrolls are doing I, like i get the whole critical uh you know the survival kind of discussions would do with the scrolls um but with kravik it's kind of genetic and like i i will say i like his performance more in episode three where these mm -hmm. first two episodes i just feel like he's just doing typical bad guy like talking low like, like he's like I don't know, it's, it's just not giving the energy that we usually see with villain performance. I, yeah. I don't know if you, you agree with that, but what, what do you think so far with the villain? Yeah, I think in the first two episodes, it's kind of just generic. There's nothing really, like, stand out about it. But, no. um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like the actor's capable of more than that. So, it's yeah. like episode three is, um, is good. Yeah. Um... I, I'm just being cautious about this. Like, I'm very shocked that, that this show hasn't dropped yet in episode three, because that's where a lot of the Disney Plus shows kind of suffer. Mm -hmm. and, and and I'm very shocked that episode three we, we didn't do that in this show. So yeah. that's I mean, I mean, some of the shows dropped in the last episode. So oh, that's I mean, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm being very, I'm being cautious. I, yeah. I, I don't know. It's either three, four, five, or six. That's like when we do, <laughs> we're doing. Right. It's the back half is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm very curious about that. Um, yeah. I also, I, I will say, I agree with you that I don't like. I, I think I like this grounded version of secret evasion but i i think it is letting down people a little too much 
I, if you read the comic book of Secret Invasion, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I do question why we picked this with Nick Fury, you know, mm-hmm. and I, I feel like that's maybe the fall of that because it's like, like you know, we got our first surprise role with um, Secret Boss, right? In episode one, like that was cool, and then, and then right now the the big Mephisto theory is like. Uh, Rory is his, his girl, uh, which I think he is his girl because the third episode confirms something that I don't know if Rory will say that to Nick, like mm. and, you know. So like when you get to episode three, well, you you will know what I'm talking about. It's, it's some, it, it, if you say something to Nick and that doesn't make sense, then you're in trouble and you're definitely a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> That also happens in Captain Marvel, so that's a big hint there. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and then uh, this is a big one: uh, the death of a major character, Mary Hill. Yeah, uh, that did not work. I I don't know. No, didn't work for you. I mean, I I appreciate we acknowledge in episode two, but I'm concerned that they're forgetting it. Mm-hmm. You know? In the moments of these Nick's episodes, I I don't know because my like I I don't know where you have like I don't know you have discussion with your friends but like when I'm having discussion with these hosts like mm-hmm. they're kind of concerned if they're forgetting about the death of Marie Hill and I don't know like I mean first up I was shocked that they killed off her in the first episode yeah so what do you think about the death of Marie Hill? Yeah, I thought it was a weird choice. Um, I don't know why you would do that. Like, uh, kill her. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know. I kept expecting it to be like a fake out. Yeah. Um, because like she's always been by like Fury's side, and um, I don't know. It's not like. I can't imagine it. It's something like Colby Smulders didn't want to keep doing it because yeah. she's not. A, it's not like she's in everything. Like so, she's like constantly busy with Marvel stuff and can't do anything else. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not like she's like. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So, but it also doesn't. It doesn't feel necessary for like. A storytelling perspective, yeah. Because, like you said, like it hasn't really affected Nick Fury all that much. I, it seems. Um, it's 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 just it's so weird how they're doing it. Like, yeah. Okay, like just a little spoil in episode three. Like, um, he's with the scroll wife, his wife, mm-hmm. in in episode three, and then he mentions that. Um, he's uh he's here, and he say he's um, I say he's doing this job for vengeance, and mm-hmm. so that kind to indicate that what what he's doing, like, cause he, I was it episode two, yeah, episode two he got fired by mm-hmm. the government, and then he's like, yeah, I'm fired, but I'm Nick Fury, I'm still, I'm in, <laughs> so he's like still like wants to face this because of what Kravik has done right now, you know, killing a friend he knows so many years, so I, I guess it's kind of fair it's just the way Nick approaches and how he talks about it it's kind of, like, odd um, yeah but at the same time it's, it's like Nick is very close off sometimes with his emotions to people and it's like sometimes you cannot read his thoughts, you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, like, that's my thing. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's just the, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, it was just very, like, I mean, you think they're gonna do maybe Maria Hill to be the Spider Woman in the comic to be real to the school, but they didn't do that, so, um, so, yeah, I am very curious why they did it, um, I don't know. It's it's just really bizarre what they did with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm still mixed with that. I I don't think it got better. Uh, and I think it really like 
I don't think it got you hooked to the show if they did that. Like, I think that was, <laughs> that was like a big swing they did. And it just did not work, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And it's just distracting all around. Like, the, the important plot points and characterization, or character development they're trying to do in the show with these characters. And that's very glaring for me. That, yeah. You know, and I think that's... But I have to wait to see on the next episodes, if this really was a bad idea, I cannot say it's a bad idea right now. Mm-hmm. If they're going to do something later in the show with that, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Anything else to say about segregation? I, what else I, we have to bring up? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, that's really it. I'll say segregation. So, no, I'm, I'm uh, ready to move on. All right, because we got a big 